Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to talk about the bar. Make sure that your quest lines are all cut up to bring you to the bar. The armor that you will receive is really necessary to survive. The game kicks it into next gear once you get to the bar. The mobs now are pretty much a death sentence if they gang up on you. And you will need to get very comfortable with PvP, especially when you're gonna need to go get pickles. The armor that I mentioned that you'd get from the quest, you can pretty much equip it and use it until you get the next one in the end game. Now that you're wearing combat armor, you can equip this backpack. Prioritize upgrading it as much as you can. Another item you receive by following the main quest line is the scanner. You can scan it with this item pretty much anywhere, including the swamp. It finds its hidden stashes in the area. You can do a short scan or a medium scan. You don't have to keep the scanner open when you run around, but keep in mind that it will pop out as soon as it's done, so try not to engage in combat. Once the scanner detects a stash, you can click on the search button. It will automatically equip the second item needed to complete the search process for the stash. You basically look around for it to light up and then you follow until the percentage meter on the right side rises to 100%. Don't forget that you're also on a timer, so make sure you hurry up to find it. This is the best way to find a variety of loot, including artifacts, ammunition, healing. You always want to seize the opportunity to get a scan going. The scanner charges just like the metal detector, although it could cost you up to 4k to recharge. If you want to know where to get the materials for your next upgrade, you can click on track, go into the details to see exactly where you find the material you need. Once you've gathered the materials needed, I would recommend focusing the science armor since the next upgrade to your combat armor is going to come from the main quest line. Now all these upgrades cost money and what I would recommend make money, spend money by buying these installations but you will see the return is up to 27k you can find these proto electro clusters they're also a very good way to make money you basically run around and it, try to not get hit by these bubbles until the percentage get to 100 the four items on the right you sell them the rest you keep the anomalous rift is why you bought the installation you can put it down by clicking use and right clicking. I would try to put it down somewhere in the corner hidden because they can sometimes not see it and they won't aggro at it and you can then hide away. But this time it didn't work out. Also make sure that it doesn't damage below 0%. Then it disappears and you lose all items. I would also recommend picking up the items along the way. Once that yellow bar reaches to the end you can pick up the last items and the, the rift is gone. A good place to gather XP and pickles for future upgrades is on the opposite side of the factory. Enemies are going to be very very prevalent but when you pass through this gate you'll be able to safely walk up and fight a couple enemies here. This time I was lucky there wasn't any but there you see there's some remains with some pickles in it. Easy pickings this time but don't expect it to be easy every time. On the south side of the bar is very very active PvP. This is pretty much the choke point of the area. You will always find combat here. This is a quick come and go PvP area. If you really enjoy PvP, this would be where you want to go for fighting. And when I say this is not easy and there's a lot of enemies around, here's an example why. I 
my feet to do that. If you're having issues with PvPing, you can practice by challenging your friends. It's a lot of fun, and here's some gameplay footage of me and my friend dueling each other. A quick quality of life improvement would be to go into your settings and change the amount of death markers that you can have at a time. I put it all the way up to 5. You can also increase or reduce the longevity of that marker staying on the map. Your stay at the bar you'd be focusing on getting it to level 7 so you can have access to the VIP section of the bar. There you'll be able to choose your faction which is going to bring you to the end game and to the even more difficult PvP encounters. I can't stress this enough. I want to see more elaborate messages when they sending bags back to people. I receive lots of friend requests and also money because people are just happy seeing the effort put in. Which leads me to my next section. I'm gonna rant a little bit here, but this game in the end game is really unforgiving for solo players. You will get ganked up by NPCs and by other enemy squads. Although in return you do get more rewards and XP for fighting events by yourself. But the more and more I play, the further I get into the zone, the more I realize that no, I cannot do this by myself. I'm trying to recruit lots of my friends i i'm dying so much i can't do this by myself i have a discord it's in the description below join in guys come and play i'll help out you'll help me out let's have some fun leave a like and subscribe leave a comment below if i missed anything thanks for watching see you next time when i explain how to join and what you do when you join a faction